Hey guys, I wanted to talk a bit about IMSI catchers. Uh, they're also known as Stingrays, which comes from a brand name. Uh, first off, what a IMSI catcher or Stingray is, is it is a fake cell tower used by uh, hackers or investigators to attempt to do a man-in-the-middle attack on your cell phone. So what a man-in-the-middle attack is, is it is actually where the person who is doing the attack stands in the middle and tries to get your cell phone to connect to them. So basically the Stingray or IMSI catcher sends out what looks like a stronger signal and that stronger signal tells your cell phone, hey, I'm the strongest signal in the area and your phone automatically connects because of that. So as we see in the picture, uh, it shows people in their homes and basically anytime a stingray comes around their phone gets connected to it instead of the cell tower as we see here on the left and what that allows to happen is location tracking but even more importantly uh, the man in the middle attack where they actually basically refilter all the data and actually take all of the data all of the activity off the phone uh, can even send you fake uh, and hijack the connection and send you malware. Uh, that's all 100% possible. Uh, so that's the real danger here. And it's not just used by police. It's also used by hackers, which is one of the reasons I'm doing this video, because I believe everyone deserves the right to privacy. So as we mentioned, the Stingray will be sometimes in a van and the, here's some other images of them. Here's the Stingray where the IMSI catcher gets its name Stingray from uh, this model and then there's also other ones used in emergency management uh, sometimes at protests, activists, journalists you know if, if you're an investigative journalist and you're traveling out of the country uh, there's a very good chance you will connect to an IMSI catcher. I also want to talk about solutions here uh, so there's an interesting app, and that's the main reason I'm doing this video, uh, Cell Spy Catcher, it's called. Uh, I'm going to go over it, but first I want to show you guys a couple pictures. Uh, there's also these little small planes. Uh, you may see them uh, in the sky. There's been quite a bit of them uh, for those in Canada or in the U.S. in California where I'm at. Uh, and if you see these small planes, uh, they may be... Uh, possibly even unmanned and have stingrays in them so when they fly over top and these stingray devices they don't just pick up a target see that's the main concern here it's not a targeted you know legal investigation what it is is it picks up up to 10,000 different people's cell phones at the same time and grabs all of the data now, it can also be passive as well uh, it could be passive and just be tracking locations of all those cell phones but the point is, it's invading privacy, and that's why I'm covering it. So uh, here's some other Stingray IMSI catcher devices. Uh, they come in a briefcase even. Uh, there's even smaller ones. See this one here? It's not too much bigger than the pen we see. Here, on the other hand, is one built for a DEF CON hacker conference. Now this just shows the, the power that can be innovated and not for too much money so consider the fact that it is you know you may trust the police and everyone else but do you trust every hacker out there to be in your best interest I highly doubt it so we're talking about banking information anything can be grabbed up so the whole point in this video really is to go over the app that I wanted to introduce um, and that would be Cell Spy Catcher. Uh, it comes on Android. Uh, you might find it on iPhone. Uh, what happens with this is when it, it basically maps out all cell, you, it has a self learning process. That's what you're going to want to start when you install it. What that does is it maps out all, it has a two day or more period where you map out all of the cell phone towers in your area. And what it does from there is it learns the real cell towers. And what it does with this information is anytime your phone tries to connect 
to a new strange tower or if say the cell tower moves its location changes its address or changes other parts of it that is picked up by cell spy catcher and you can then block that cell tower of course this is not going to you know stop everything but it might stop a hacker it might stop uh, some someone a stalker or something else because as I mentioned uh, these things are being built by people just regular people who are criminals so if you do not want to be taken advantage of if you do not want uh, a man in the middle attack on your cell service this app might be helpful for you I just thought it was of interest for the channel and here is the window it shows when it detects a change in the cell tower sometimes there's unknown network names now if you do use this I suggest only using uh, only allowing and blocking all cell towers that do not use your specific service name so if you use Verizon only accept the ones with network operator name Verizon as you can see this one's network operator name is one so that would be one you would block and it'll give you an option to block that and it does all the work for you you don't have to do much thinking here this is a nice little app you might like it for your phone but as I always say cell phones don't have privacy anyway so really it's just an interesting program and and maybe it'll block a hacker uh, someone trying to break into your phone someone trying to steal your information but as I also mentioned before uh, some of this stuff is not I wouldn't say irrelevant but they're doing a lot of Wi-Fi tracking now um, hackers are doing this stuff as well um, criminals and also stores and everything else so if you have you know interest in blocking that or you know changing your Mac address I, I wrote the uh, Mac cleaner program that is available on the github it is github.com slash right to privacy I'll leave a link in the description for that um, because that is the main way people are being tracked right now by criminals and others alike so what this does and I've gone over it in past videos I'm not going to go over much now it gives you several options how you can have your uh, your computer mimic a uh, different system or just continually change its MAC address at continually changing randomized times and MAC addresses. It also changes your host name for you in order to better match you know cell phones. I'm going to update this app in the near future. Uh, I'm working on a lot of different things right now. Um, some not related to this channel. Uh, some not related to computers or privacy or infosec. So I will be back with more stuff uh, and I'm hoping to come out with some new stuff that will be of interest to you guys. So uh, keep tuned for that and please if you like the video like it, share it and subscribe and help me get up and beat this algorithm because it obviously does not like privacy related videos for some reason. Anyhow. Uh, as I said, please like the video, share it, subscribe, and I'll be back later with how you can protect your privacy and surveillance capitalism.